Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be talking about ace grading and PSA. As someone who lives in the UK, I find it's a lot easier for us to grade through ace grading, but what are the differences between PSA and ace grading? PSA launched in 1991, so it has decades of experience on ace grading, so they are obviously the go-to in the professional sports authenticator world. They also offer a wide range of authentication compared to ACE grading. If you are to go through PSA for grading from the UK, it can take, you know, possibly a year of turnaround time to get your card sent and back, and you usually have to do it through a third party service. Now with ACE, send it away, it'll be back within, well, depends on the speed that you choose, but it could be back within a, a few weeks. The downside of ACE grading is the value. ACE grading cards don't have the same amount of value. Say if you take a Van Gogh Pikachu and you take that in a PSA 10, that is worth, you know, 300, 350 pounds. Whereas a Pikachu Van Gogh graded with ACE as a 10, it'll probably set you back about 170 to 200 pounds. So there is a huge additional value that PSA can bring to your cards if you're grading them. However, from an aesthetic point of view, I personally love the ACE labels. You've obviously got your basic, your color match and your ACE labels. Now I personally find these really cool. I think it's something that PSA could possibly take from, but overall, if you want to add value to your card, absolutely go with PSA. If you want to encapsulate your card in pristine condition and have something nice to look at, Ace is the way to go.